We are getting all set for the first of four. Upstate South Carolina Greenville is the site for a pair of schools from the state of Alabama. Jacksonville State, the regular season champions out of the A-Sun, taking on the Auburn Tigers, the regular season champions out of the SEC. 15 against a two is what we have in this matchup to be followed by USC and Miami later this afternoon. As we bring it courtside and welcome you, hello friends, Jim Nance from Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, and Tracy Wolfson. I think the tournament's on high alert after what St. Peter's did last night, a 15 over a two. That's the matchup we open up with today. We have a good one. We have the interior dominance of Auburn versus the guard play and three-point shooting of Jacksonville State. It's all about pace. I know socially you two have a problem with your pace. <laughs> uh, controlling the game, making threes, very important if they're going to hang in this game against Auburn. Well, the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State here is their first five. Their leading score is Darian Adams. The all Jalen backcourt too with Gibbs and Finch. For Auburn, boy, they've got some stars, including All Americas and Jabari Smith and Walker Kessler. Ray Harper, his sixth year at Jacksonville State, taking the team to the tournament in Jacksonville, Alabama, for the second time, taking the Gamecocks to the NCAA tournament. They were 2017 in the field as well. And you see Bruce Pearl on his birthday, 62 years young today in his eighth season. What a job he's done with the program for the Tigers. And yeah, they've been tough. Of course, uh, the size and talent up front is going to be difficult to a difficult task for Jacksonville State. Well, you sit back, you watch what happened last night, and you say, if you're Jacksonville State, well, St. Peter's can do it, as you see. The officials, if they can do it, why can't we? No question. You think right now they're feeling confident. This team, as we said, an elite three-point shooting team. Can they block out the interior and keep the Tigers off the glass? That will be remains to be seen. And they have an experienced coach on the side. and won some championships at Kentucky Wesleyan. Let's let it ride. Yeah, Ernie Banks said, let's play two, let's play four. I, <laughs> I wish there was a fifth. <laughs> And the two head coaches go way back. Burrell at Southern Indiana, Harper at Kentucky Wesleyan. They meet again in the tap controlled by Auburn. And Jim Nance, Grant Hill. Right now, Jacksonville State goes a little bit of it. And Jacksonville State, their opponents shoot 13 Flex points. There underneath, wow. they're able to get the quick basket by KD Johnson. And that's important, Raph, right there. He struggled against Texas A&M in their conference tournament. So getting a quick one for him, seeing the ball go through the basket, might serve him well. And they will be patient, go side to side. Some kick out threes. Hoppin's got a little hook game in a low box area as well. In the paint, putting it up wildly, pulled down by Smith. Don't leave him alone that early. Knocks down the three. Woo. Jabari Smith. The freshman sensation. He may not be the best forward in the building. We have him next to us. <laughs> so, but this kid's got big upside, big time delivery. Quick five for the, the Auburn Tigers. Outside they go. This is Henry. The jump center for him. Three to shoot. Gibbs has to put it up long range and that's a shot clock violation and not a good possession you need ball movement player movement if you're the Gamecocks on the offensive end and right, there's that little flex screen they like to run a little bump on the baseline they get Johnson going a man of many faces yeah especially <laughs> he'll let you know plays on a lot of emotion they got him on the board 11 seconds into this game down low left alone Flanagan puts it up Rolls away, and it's going to go to the Gamecocks. I think Flanagan is one of those missing pieces. He's got to get back shooting like he did last year. Off the Achilles, been a very tough adjustment for him. Yeah, missed 11 games as he had surgery in the fall. Wasn't a total rupture of the Achilles, but about 70%. So, I mean, it's a long road back. He was preseason first-team All-League, and 
not putting up the numbers he did last year, nor would you expect him to after that. Oh, what a that's shot. He Finch is gets it to go. And that's what he does right there. Good mid-range, quick, great of penetration, and not afraid of attacking Kessler there at the rim. Not bad at all. He does a nice job on this end, jumping passing lanes, too. There's that same little flex cut. Asper reach in outside on Adams. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code now to download. We'll double the post area, by the way, the last time. Smart. Yep. Give him a little wrinkle. Adams, this is a good defensive team. Controlling pace, obviously, we talked about, but I just think defensively, they're always in the right spot. And Ray Harper has been around and been successful. And they've done a good job. Their opponents shoot three-pointers on 45% of their overall field goal attempts. So can Auburn knock down those threes, which they've struggled with as of late? Johnson slipping on the floor, and he's tied up, and the arrow will go to Jacksonville State. He never uses cruise control. He is always attacking this kid. Good defense right here. Henry sliding his feet, and as you said it best, Johnson a little out of control. Can do that from time to time, but great defense by the Gamecocks. It's a team, Jacksonville State, that played Alabama this year, early in the year, at Alabama and lost by six in Tuscaloosa. And, and they played were right there, a substantial lead at the end, but then they narrowed it again. A little trap. He said they're going to go after him, Bruce. There's Adams. Opens up Lux. And the three-point shot knocked down by Gibbs. How about that? Big Alabama A&M game, catch and shoot threes. So they answer back the Gamecocks with five unanswered of their own. As Jasper puts up on top of the key, long board comes down to Adams. Uh, Jasper, great defender, usually starts the game. We'll see Green coming in, maybe a little more explosive. on the drive goes back outside with it Henry with a three slides off the rim and last touch by Auburn so the school profile student enrollment about 9200 in a town of about 12,000 out of the Atlantic Sun notable alumni Randy Owen from well the, the great band Alabama and Danny Willett the 2016 Masters champion he went to Jacksonville State you I like how they leave that in there I know. <laughs> <laughs> why not Got another Willard. top 100 player, Matt Willett from the UK, that came out of there as well. So, Jacksonville State down a quick five at the start. Nice hand. Ooh, they got him for picking the pocket. That's on Green. Pretty good position defense, though. A little slight of hand on the lane. Let's see where he got him here. Well, maybe a little poke in the back. Got his arm right there, reaching in. Dangerous pass caught by Adams. They're one of the best in the country over and prevent the inbounds passes. How about this kid? That's Finch. He's got a little set shot with his three-point shot. A little funky looking, but certainly effective. 37% from the three-point line. Eight unanswered, and then Smith. That's effective. So efficient. Oof. Just mix that game up a little more. I'd love to see him a little dribble drive. We know he can make the three and the pull up. Loves the elbow. Double up on Finch. Adams, their top score is foul. Oh, oh. push off call. For first break, Jacksonville State up by one. Tournament summary, four double-digit seeds, one on Thursday. None bigger than St. Peter's over Kentucky. And the Mountain West taken out of the tournament. By the way, the call going to break. Adams had a foot on the line, so a turnover gives it back to Auburn, down one. And Auburn, not a great three-point shooting team, but they don't post up. They have the size advantage. They like to hover around the perimeter, surprisingly. Cambridge can make some threes. Carvel at the rim is... Extremely tough. This kid can blow by Green. Green catch. dishes beautifully to Cardwell. The hands were ready. That was a tough catch. Green Whoa. electrifying.
Now, if Auburn's going to attack and double team the screen and roll, if they can if they can deal with that and embrace it and attack out of that Jacksonville State, they'll have some opportunities. But the turnover, once again, a walk called on Finch, and just a beautiful drive. Tremendous hands inside by Carwell to catch that tough pass and finish, taking his advantage of the size on the interior, a must for the Tigers. Johnson, that little bump again, not afraid of threes. Occasionally, Jack say, tough one up. This is where I want to see him go a little bit more. There's a little bump foul called against the Gamecocks. Going on Zelly Snack, and the most unusual track to the NCAA tournament for Jacksonville State. They won, again, the regular season, but then lost in the semis of the uh, A-Sun Conference Tournament to Jacksonville. But then Bellerman beat Jacksonville from Florida in the final. They're not eligible because they haven't had enough years transitioning from Division II to Division I. So, alas, went to the regular season champs, Jacksonville State. Uh, Accepted it willingly. Scott Davenport, Bellarine coach. Uh, they're going to be a tough out in that league, too. Used to be Rick Patino's assistant in these Louisville days. Yeah, school headquartered right there in Louisville. Nice yeah. replace. Good move to basket, and it's denied. What a block by Cambridge. They got numbers here if they go quick. Back outside with it, and stolen. What a play there. Coming back with Kane Henry. Unbelievable. Off the deck. What a recovery. He gets blocked at one and makes a save at the other, and the driving basket doesn't fall. Henry on the floor, and he touched it last. <laughs> Great hustle, but it goes back to Auburn. Great hustle both ways. Confrontation at the rim. Henry went with authority. <laughs> Wow. Unbelievable. What a block there. I watched this kid early in the year against Wichita State. He has played well, cuts well, passes it. How about this effort? Supreme. And this team right here, the Tigers, leads the nation in block shots. Almost eight a game. Most of that's one Kessler. guy. Yeah. yeah. He's amazing. <laughs> uh, you were very friendly to Kessler simply because he left Carolina. <laughs> Here he's a smart is. young man. <laughs> <laughs> nice slack. Takes it to the rack. How about that? He is as agile as a, a guy facing the basket. I mean, great rhythm to his game. Just doesn't get any touches on the box. King on the floor can make, make some shots as well. Nine of 11 threes early in the year. Another three goes down for Gibbs. I mean, he has deep range, a quick trigger, not afraid of the moment, has come ready to play. He's hit two from out there. That is a confident group, no question about it. Homer's going to have to play a solid game. Green feeds it, and coming off the floor with it is Gibbs. Great block out in inside by Zelly Snack. And Cambridge, they talk about a good open look. Here's King. Gives them a lot of offense off the bench. 11 a game. Yeah, they have a lot of run out ball screens. They got a mismatch in the hole if they want to Purdue. Purdue slides to the left corner. Adams wants it. He puts it up, uh -oh. knocks it down. Darian Adams. Tough kids. Gets available. Beautiful step back maneuver. First team all league. Average is 16 a game. Driving in and Jasper not able to finish it. Jasper was in there just a couple feet away. We talked early in the game. Jacksonville State establishing their presence at the three point line. Very efficient thus far. Here's Adams. Fresh off a three. No nice. ball. And it comes out into the hands of Jabari Smith. Nice change by Kessler. Nice little run by Kessler, too. How about Smith? Does it all. He's got to get the ball more, Grant. I agree. Right? Give him some touches. Get him involved. A moment ago during the break, Tracy had a quick word with Coach Pearl. Well, Coach, you guys are hitting your shots, but defensively, especially from the three-point line, how do you have to adjust? They're good. I mean, they're good. I mean, they're better from three than two. They shoot, like, almost 39% from three. We got to make them put the ball down the floor and get to the basket. We got to do a better job of even our centers getting up there and pressuring them. All right, thanks a lot. He's right. Thank you, Tracy. 39%. That's fifth best in the country. 
their percentage from three-point land, Jacksonville State. Yeah, pretty impressive, and they're good at getting a touch on the lane and finding people. This is a confident team. And a confident team indeed. And look, they haven't played since March 5th when they lost in the A-Sun Conference Tournament. So I thought they'd be a little bit more rust having been off for that long, but they look sharp. One more for Kessler. Again, a North Carolina transfer, the only Auburn Tiger that came in to the NCAA tournament with a tournament experience. He played 13 minutes in an opening round loss to Wisconsin last year in what was uh, Roy Williams' last game. And they, no one knew at the time. And Jabari taking a little bit of a blow. See they jumped that lane. Gibbs, he's hit. Now three of them from out there. Right. They're five for seven as a team. Well, they're doing a great job of handling that that hedge by Kessler and attacking on the weak side and just give the ball to Gibbs. Wow. Nine unanswered. Meanwhile, at the other end, there's a three for Green. Confident kid. Yeah, and Johnson in that backcourt. They think they can beat anybody. Stepping up, too, in terms of level of play. Yep, Eastern Kentucky transfers Green. Used to compete in the Ohio Valley against Jacksonville State when the Gamecocks were in that league. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, best Coke ever. Who's deciding these things? Well, maybe we just have to try it and see. Debate the goatness. Mm. Sitting alongside a couple of goats. <laughs> Here we are, 11 minutes to go. Well, one, the first half. one goat <laughs> and one grazer. <laughs> Away from the ball. The call is against Auburn's Jalen Williams. His first. Bring back a couple of starters for Coach uh, Harper and the Gamecocks. And one thing about Auburn, who's been a little over anxious, you mentioned that ball screen and that action, but selling out on the nine passing lanes, Flanagan for one a couple of trips ago. I agree. Just be solid. Lock and trail on that pin down. You don't have to go for a gamble. Tough pass. They are so good at defending that baseline out of bounds. Look oh, at this time. It's another blocked. block. Huffman back outside with it. A great job going side to side, then post. Henry, turnaround short. They're only one out of six from two, five out of eight from three. Here's a three at the other end. Oh, All there. Not a good one, not a good one. Off the hands of Huffman. Thanks. Matched up against another North Carolina transfer, Brandon Huffman. His second year at Jacksonville State. He's been three years at Chapel Hill. A lot of North Carolina transfers here. Bounds that come. Williams puts it up and in. You would bring that up, by the way. <laughs> you know, it's interesting with Kester, Jim McGrant. He posts up and then releases. He never reposts. I mean, he, he can do some damage inside for Auburn, I think. I almost feel like he's more comfortable on the perimeter right now at this point in this game. But I, but I agree. Get inside. Nice pass off the horn set. Back out around the perimeter with eight to shoot. They're comfortable late in the shot clock. Wow. Gibbs. After hitting his first three, he's been blocked and then an air ball. Green taken off. Messler on the fly. Look at Henry. He's really hustled here at the start. Give Jacksonville State credit. Only one offensive rebound thus far for the Tigers. Blocking out a must. King. Automatic switch here. There's King with Flanagan on him. Bench. Driving on Green. We'll put it up. Interesting wow. shot. It goes. <laughs> he wants to post up Green. A little plumb bob delivery. And once again, no inside punch, kind of. Back screen roll to Kessler, and they get a little chug. Nickel dimer on Gibbs. First round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship begins today on ESPN, ESPN2, and ESPNU, as well as ESPN News. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Uh, I was wondering when Javari Smith was going to come back in. He's still on the bench. First foul, by the way, on Gibbs. The only guy that can keep Smith under 20 is Bruce. <laughs> now, now I, I, think, I think Bruce heard you. 
Yeah, because that was the old line Dean Smith used to use on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, Jordan. yeah. yeah. Right. Only guy it could keep him under 20. Yeah. There's Smith. And a foul underneath. Jelly Snack right there grabbing the shorts of Cardwell, trying to block him out. Nearly the third on Zelly Snack. Yeah. Good rebounder. Cardwell's a tough kid. Really aggressive at the rim. And that's the advantage on the glass for Auburn. So Zelly Snack with the three fouls to the bench. Here's Smith. Quick shot. Somehow rattles out. A nice little execution to screen the screener. Fouled by Purdue. And such a difficult matchup as a power forward having to guard him. Such a high release point on his shot. Prefers to catch and shoot right now at this point of his career, but just a difficult cover no matter no matter what. And I've watched this kid all year. He's had a few Auburn games at LSU. He got a rebound dribble, the length of the floor, pull up jump shot. I mean, there's a lot of things he, he can do. Some magic in his game. Auburn's first ever SEC. Freshman of the year is freshman of the week six times. Jabari Sr., his father, out of LSU, was the 45th pick back in 2000 in the NBA draft by Sacramento. Ended up playing for the Kings, 76ers, and Nets a little bit. Had a chance to visit with Jabari Jr. yesterday. What a great young man. What a talent he's got. You were impressed with his size. He's even bigger than you thought, right? Sometimes they fidge on the size in college. Yeah. He's a legit 6'10. Pinch working it to the corner. And that good spacing on that trip. There's Adams. Down the five. He sees it. Fade away shot. Beautifully wow. done. Darian Adams. <laughs> and that was good defense right there by Flanagan. Just a beautiful shot by Adams. Now quickly the Tigers are back up the floor. But Jacksonville State's learned early. They can play with them. Uh, they're a confident group. Smith. Nice contest out there. On the perimeter. Nobody denting that defense getting in the gap. Lanning oh, in. Once again, kick out three. Smith from Cardwell. And that's going to go the other way. Uh, Cardwell really does a great job on the glass. Nice find, top of the key. Well, you get to these matchups when you got a 15 taken on a two. It was a quick five at the start of the game for Auburn. Can you hang in there? Can you get some confidence under your feet at the start of the game to make it a game? And they're able to survive that quick first minute. I think these guys have it. Uh, they're not afraid, undeterred. Big challenges, making shots, getting in the lane, and without a post-up game at all. Huffman not on the floor at this point. Adams, tough shot. Over the backboard, it'll go to Auburn. And we're under eight. Jacksonville State hitting five from three and leading by three. Back here in Greenville, South Carolina, I'm here with head coach Ray Harper. And coach, you talked about their size and their talent. How have you been able to match that so far in this first half? I think defensively we've been pretty good. A couple of second shots, we got to continue to block out. But we've got to keep getting movement on the offensive end. Uh, they're getting aggressive with the ball screens, and our bigs aren't getting out of it and rolling short. I think we can attack them if they'll get out of the ball screen quicker and, and then attack out of that. Thanks a lot. He's a good coach here. Things have come in twos for him. Two national championships at Kentucky Wesleyan. Two NAIA national titles at Oklahoma City. And now taking two teams to the NCAA tournament at Jacksonville State. Also took two at Western Kentucky. He's a keeper. Trying to take out a two in the tournament here in the Auburn Tigers. And a Lemons connection. Nice double and a dive. Still in the way. That was Adams. Watch him. He's going to tee it up. Thought about it. King, meanwhile, stuck for a moment. Huffman in the game. I'm going to use him a little bit too. Soften up the belly. Adams driving on Cambridge. Puts it up. Pulled down by Huffman. Huffman. And Kessler behind him. Doesn't Basically. want the shot. Carolina versus Carolina yeah. here. Got the wrong color shirts on. They were never there at the same that, time. Right. Never overlap. Kids are so good with that step back. Finch, tough shot. And this time it's Kessler who comes away with it. Jasper, 
Back outside, Johnson tried to load it up, but King closed on him in a hurry. Now he takes it to the rack for two. Empty side, everybody overload left. Good execution. A little steam going to the rim, too. Yeah, college of Charleston transfer. First field goal for the Tigers in four minutes. And Ray Harper said he needs ball movement, player movement, too much isolation right now. There's King putting it up long. And Johnson racing out with oh, it. He's got, got numbers. He's got Kessler trailing for the dunk in the lead. How about Harris. the big fellow running the about, floor? He's unbelievable. His agility, his speed. Johnson should have given it up a little bit earlier, though. He's fortunate in the open Harper. play. But Harper says we're taking time out before this momentum grows right. even more. Early on, he could run out for the big fella. Auburn off the bench with seven points. Gamecocks, all starters in the scoring column. Nothing from the bench, points in the paint decisively for the Tigers, Jacksonville State to inbound. Coming off of a timeout called by Harper. Settle things down after a quick spree by Auburn. Now you don't get in a running game with Auburn. You gotta be solid. A lot of bumps on the perimeter. That's Drive it in Kane Henry, and it's off of Auburn. Nice tend to shoot. By, nice play by Johnson. Those quick hands. He is a tenacious player. He he felt like it went off Henry right there on that play. Has Smith to the bench, and Jalen Williams will replace him. He reached in there, and it might have, he might be right. He was he right. Like it hit his left thigh. Look at that bigness on the ball. He still got it in, huh? And it counts, Gibbs. Gibbs has come ready to play right there, whether outside, inside. Just a beautiful hook shot over Kessler. Ask Elon what it's like when he comes to play. <laughs> he had a game earlier this year against them. The green 40 ball. points Ooh. at Elon. Well, you know he's from the D.C. area. Yeah. 2015 all met. Uh, 10 of 12 threes. Why are you big in that area? I'm just DMV. So he's got three threes and now a three-point play. And that puts the Gamecocks up by two. Now I know why I wasn't a player. I never grew a beard. <laughs> the James Harden look. From the corner, three right back. Williams. Ten baskets made by the Tigers, all ten coming with an assist. He can play. He had a lot of minutes last year. 14 points this year against Florida. Was a starter last yeah, year. Yeah. Sacrificed his team for his team this year with Jabari Smith. They let that run across and now a, a rescreen on an empty side. Adams with Cambridge on him wants to challenge him. Takes it in and it's blocked and saved by Kessler. I think Cambridge got the block, but Kessler was right there. Good pass, extra pass to the corner. Doesn't pay off. Huffman pulls it down for the Gamecocks. Kessler with that block at the other end, second in the nation in block shots this year. SCC Defensive Player of the Year. Changes so many shots, trying to blow up the ball screen there. Cambridge with the contact foul. Here's some advanced stats as we take a look at advanced stats presented by Invesco QQQ. Auburn, 84 possessions per game. It's 12th most in the country, Division One. And they like to churn it up, speed you up, but you know, this team very much under control, Jacksonville State. That's why they have to have good offense. The good offense allows them to get back and set up their defense and slow this pace down. On the wing, back of the rim it is for Henry. And those shots were falling early right. for the Gamecocks. Yeah, they missed their last five from three-point land, Grant. Here's Johnson at the other end from outside. That's one of the, he's a new wide guy. You love him, and then you want to, hey, <laughs> settle down. Oh, he's got the face going. <laughs> oh. The Georgia transfer scored the game's opening basket, and now he hits a three. Give him five for the game. There's Gibbs, and he's fouled on the three-point attempt by Johnson. Look at Johnson. He's he almost, He's got to be careful. And he struggled last week, 0 for 6 from the three-point line, but Johnson locked and loaded and chirping a little bit as well. 
Now it's time to close the gap presented by Aflac. Look at Jacksonville State. Nothing really happening down low for them on the offensive end. Late clock execution, you guys say. Yeah, no question. They, they want to use the clock to their advantage. They got to be precise with their execution when the clock gets low. And of course, maybe some paint touches, dribble drive. That defense is playing very aggressive. You get in that paint, make things happen if you're the offense. And no post up really uh, doesn't get many touches. And when they played Alabama, Alabama was averaging 85 points. They got 29 points in the first half, had to make a three at the buzzer. Mm. That's the control they like to have. Gibbs. He has been in control and efficient early for Jacksonville State. Gibbs coming in threes, three threes, a three point play, and three free throws now. He leads them with 15. He had that shot at Bruce. I think he almost had a three second violation this year as a coach. He gets out that floor. Six man. That's Williams. How about him? Playing with some confidence. 23%. It's only his 12 3. Of course, not the minutes he was accustomed to. He's two for two in this one, though, from yeah. out there. Jay Powell on the floor now. Offensive put back guy, screener. Yep, number 13 down low for Jacksonville State. That's Powell. This is Adams. Good on Flanagan. Good defense. Three to shoot. You said late shot clock execution. Here you go, in time, and it never touched the rim. How about Flanagan right there, one on one, taking the challenge against Darian Adams, sliding his feet. Multiple efforts from Flanagan, the whole team. And as we talked about late game, you drive and Kessler there to contest. That's the Tiger basketball right there at its best. And the Tigers back on the floor with their first five. Well, Smith has been fresh. He's had a lot of rest this first half. Got to elevate right here. Here's landing a big size advantage. Dishes! Oh. Kessler! Hey, facial, huh? Goodness! In the right spot, hands ready. Biggest lead of the game for Auburn, up six. He can get down the stance too, can he? Look at him move those pins. Gibbs, nice denial. Last touch by Kessler. Coming up AT&T at the half. Scores and highlights, latest NCAA tournament news. Coming up on AT&T at the half. And uh, when you look at Bruce Pearl's kids, the center, Kessler, he wants them out, doubling, trapping, denying. So effective. Bench. They haven't made a basket from the floor in three and a half. Auburn with a late spurt here in the first half. As Johnson drives in, tapped up once, second time, yes, and a foul. And right now, Auburn has turned the screws on both ends of the floor. The defense has been spectacular, offensively executing, and Kessler at his best on the glass. We talked about blocking him out at the start of this game, but too big, too strong, too efficient. And right now, the Tigers are rolling. And Johnson's got to run the team, though. I mean, he's <laughs> he's just going to attack the 10. Kessler was in position to get a shot. And he's going to catch up with you at some point. First team All SEC, 13 AP All America. Delivers the three point play, and the lead is now nine. An eight nothing run by Auburn. And that defense has just forced Jacksonville State. They, they can't get anything good offensively. Tough shots, every possession. I think you got to get away from the ball screen, though. Too much dribbling. Look how late. Look who's in the deterrent. Gibbs. Tough shot as Johnson had a hand right in there. Ball comes out long, and that is Adams who fetches it, and it rattles out. And guys, they were hitting those tough shots early, not as of late. Lanigan losing control on the drive, and it goes back to the Gamecocks. Never had control, but you're right about the defense. They've just stepped it up big time, Auburn. And what luxury for those guards when you have the pigs behind you. You can really get out for Auburn and pressure and attack 
cause all types of trouble defensively. Well, first on the three was tough twos. You know, you can make them fine. You got that major deterrent in Kessler. Very difficult. Adams, who's two for seven from the field. Gives it up to Powell. And they are right up in the grill. Adams lost it for a minute. Gibbs saves it. Now again, low in the shot clock. It's Adams. Push off. And they're going to call it. They got him. They got him for it. They extended that arm. And he sold that a little bit. Yeah. But it was no definitely a foul. But I think if he touches, you know, with that body, <laughs> you're going to move a couple of inches. That's true. Oh, definitely a push. And you see the wing. Yeah, the officials don't miss those. So Adams goes out with a second foul. And Damari King comes in for him. That's for the two for one opportunity here. That's Powell reaching around. I don't know if coaches have that NBA outlook with the uh, two for one. Well, and I saw Bruce Pearl was. Oh, he was feeding it up. Yeah. Getting to try to go quickly here on that possession. But, but you're right, most colleges don't. Yeah. yeah. That's your point, right? Yeah. You just don't see well, him. Like, they want a think quality shot. Yeah. What's the academia in them? <laughs> One and one coming for Jabari Smith. Second team AP All America. That's where I mentioned third. Rattles out. And look at Kessler. Keep the possession at this end. Johnson. I look at him with the. Oh, he is. This kid emotes. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to be his roommate. <laughs> I would get any rest. What a run here in the last three minutes. And look at the help defense, too. 11 0 spurt. Look at Kessler move those feet. Excellent. They got to walk yeah. because of the big fella. And Auburn will have 22 seconds for the last shot. It's like Auburn just flipped the switch with their intensity on the defensive end. And look at Kessler, big, big guy sliding his feet. Execution late, not very good. Not at all. Right? It's the effort, the energy, the multiple efforts. Helping each other. You can't script that defensively. Auburn getting it done. Let's see what they set up here with 15 seconds. Jasper. Driving on Finch with six. Ball. Try to save it in the corner. He got it down. He got it down. Flat. And that's going back to Jacksonville State 2.3. See what they set up here. Two dribbles at the most and a shot. Let's see if they try and do something with a bump, get it to half court. They have a decent look. Eight straight empty trips for the Gamecocks. Remember, they were five out of seven from three early when they led. They've missed their last eight from outside. Nobody in the backcourt for Jacksonville State. Some home run play, I'm sure they've practiced. Maybe a pin down, one goes forward, one goes to the rim. Looks like they're going to pin the center. There's the throw. Went right through the hands of Henry and Johnson heaves it. And we reach halftime with the Tigers on an 11 point run to close it. This textbook defense right there. Intensity from the Tigers. Early on, Jacksonville State hitting shots, but that changed because of the effort on the defensive end of Auburn. And Kessler with nine points, six rebounds, and four blocks. Let's go over to Trace. Coach, what can you say about the defensive intensity of your team down the stretch here? Really good. You know, defense and rebounding is what's got us the SEC championship. When you're playing against a really talented offensive team like those guys, you got to get after them. And hopefully we'll wear them down. I expect them to start really, really well again when they're fresh in the second half. KD Johnson 0 for 14 the last time he was out on the court. What can you say about his effort here? He's fearless, and his teammates trust him, and so do I. Thanks a lot, Coach. KD with eight points and four assists. Halftime, Auburn 39, Jacksonville State 27. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after these messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Here's a look at the Wendy's first half stats, and it's all about dominating on the inside, high field goal percentage, points in the paint, bench points, and five blocks by the Tigers. Let's take this power pause presented by Powerade. Here's Tracy 
Jim, I spoke with Ray Harper coming out of the locker room. He said the keys for the second half, transition, defense, second chance points, and offensive ball movement. He said there was just too much dribbling, too much one-on-one. -on -one. His message to the team coming out, compete. Let's chip away and see if we can do this. Well, Trace, they had cut the lead to one with 347 left in the half at 28. 27 but didn't score again Auburn defensively got nine straight stops to close that first half fellas uh, coming in 289 threes by Jacksonville State so run them off the line's been effective and great challenges and Kessler well Jacksonville State can get back in this game they're gonna have to have better offense and they shoot the ball well but same play same play to start the game right, same play a little flex cut dive to the rim acknowledgement yeah Flanagan wide open underneath and they apply some soft pressure here in the backboard and let's see if they can get the ball moving around they want to play with a slow pace they don't want to run up and down you can still have pace in your offensive execution there's bench Again, they're down to two to shoot. Gibbs must put it up. It's blocked. Fit block for Kessler. Leads the break. As Jasper goes back outside, Johnson thought about it. Looked down to the toes. They were on the line. He said, I'll wait. Drive baseline on Finch. Put it up, and he'll head to the line for a couple. And he was determined to get a shot up on that Finch, attempt right good. there. He was waving us off the floor. <laughs> Uh, those two together, dynamic duo. Bruce and Johnson. Goodness. A lot of energy in that locker room. Oh, I can imagine, <laughs> right? And a lot of give and take. Johnson, the number two scorer on the season for the Tigers, as he was in the first half here. Again, transfers inside of the conference. It's always an unusual thing. It was all freshman SEC at Georgia before coming over to Auburn. That was a no-no in the old days. Oh yeah. They had to sit maybe two years yeah. <laughs> transferring yeah. conference. Yeah, with the new transfer portal. It's called poaching. I should have done more poaching when I coached. At least you know. <laughs> At least you know now. Now a 15-0 run. I actually thought that last offensive possession for Jacksonville State was, was actually really good. Just the defense is superior from the Tigers. Uh, really, what a great defensive set here. They took away the back cut. Adams over Smith and somehow spins out. It was down twice. The Johnson's toughness personified. Uh oh, the delay. Got the puppy set. He did. Nylon, Jim. Johnson's push. Ten points for Smith. Joins Johnson in double figures for the Tigers. Up and strictly a screener on the perimeter, really not getting anything in the low box area. The four bumps, here's another one. Bench giving back to Huffman. Fouled on the way up. I think Smith, Jim, with the hand in, but his, his nice, first. Nice job here. Push. Great awareness. Trailer three right there, Smith, and he had all types of time to get organized. And said one of the best power forward shooters in the entire college basketball. He's got a bright career in front of him. Two shots for Brandon Huffman, senior from Goldsboro, North Carolina. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code now to download. So he was at Chapel Hill. Huffman for three years. Again, didn't overlap with Kessler, but played in two NCAA tournaments for Coach Williams. And his last tournament game was against Auburn when he was in Chapel Hill. That was on Auburn's run to the Final Four in Minneapolis 2019. Pretty interesting, really. Nice pump. This kid, this kid likes to play. And sometimes selection is not ideal, but he's a gamer. In it. Henry Smith defending and the ball comes out to Flanagan. And they got Kessler in the support in the back. It's a little tough around that rim. That's going to be called on Henry with a hand check. His first. 
I was reading those little dang has a camp in England that he went to. Kane Henry. Top 50 players they would invite, so that was the connection. And Luol Deng went yeah. to. You no, know, he ran the camp. But he, he went to what school? Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think he played for the Bulls. I'm not sure what college he <laughs> And again, able to maneuver for the shot. And they love that flex cut right there. He's continuing to execute offensively, getting whatever they want. This into the floor. Eight minutes and 20 seconds now without a field goal. This big time defense now. Look in the back though. I think he got one guy beat. Kessler looming large. Upman. Kessler behind him. A piece. And look at him run the floor now. Smith. What a stroke. What a beautiful rotation on that ball. Woo. Early, early offense, a little slap back drill. It's an effortless jumper, isn't it? It really is. Pretty. Now drive it in. Gives it up. And Kessler with another block. Huffman unable to get it the second time. Tapped up by Powell, though. Huffman dunks it down for his first pass. He hurt his shoulder again, Jim. Now Kessler slow to get up. Yeah, he had that wrap on at the end of the season. Looks to be okay right now. Give Huffman credit. Oh, look at it get Ooh. turned and twisted. That right shoulder. Oh, he went right to hold it, too. Coming out and getting the rest. Huffman with that basket. He goes to the bench, too. That breaks a 9 minute and 17 second drought from the floor, going back to the first half for the Gamecocks. And I've been looking for Huffman to get some touches down there, too. Uh, the physicality. Attack the shot blocker somehow. Can't be just settling deep. Yeah, that was only their third basket in the paint for the game. Jasper driving in, going back out with it. Flanagan. Off on the two. What a re third offensive rebound. Better big fella, Cartwell. You got to limit him to one possession if you're going to get back in this. He knows he can get up. Flanagan. Slicing, got it back on the floor, able to pass it. And they got a foul here on Jacksonville State. Finch with the grab. Well, they broke it open, didn't they, late first half? Ooh, it did. Explosive. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Auburn up 20, and Jabari Smith a big part of the reason why. Big part indeed, and stretching the floor, trailer three, find him in transition, able to knock down that effortless three, and the last one was deep, deep, about five feet past the three-point line, so Jabari Smith locked and loaded. We were admiring his shot in warm-ups, just so pretty, so efficient, so effortless from downtown. Really impressive. He's on the bench right now, 13 points. Six coming in this half as and, Green will shoot another free throw. And Jim, what's valuable too, the Kessler and other bigs run to the rim, so that takes defenders, and all of a sudden he slips into the slot, slap back, get the puppies organized. <laughs> does a good job of that. He does. Good organizational skills. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah, it's now 15 bench points for the Tigers, none for the Gamecocks. Kessler also out, so. 15 and a half to go. The two All Americas out at the moment. They have not been able to loosen up this tenacious defense with any dives, passes, cuts, post ups. Look at the containment. Nice replace. Adams. Tough shot. Garbo's right on him. How about that contest? Boy, they that's as good as I've seen their defense. I mean, they can't even penetrate the three point line. The defense, the intensity, way out away from the basket. Jacksonville State, we said earlier, paint touches. Not able to get that done here in the second half. Non-existent. Adams two for nine from the field. Here, Jasper. Well, he does that. What an addition. They can play the three smalls if they want to. He's getting known as a great defender. Can stick the deep one around 38%. Call him the honey badger. Yeah, for defense. yeah. defensive <laughs> skills. <laughs> Tyron Matthew doesn't have the exclusive on that. 
Nice containment and recover. Here's Gibbs. And that's going to be a reach around foul. Cambridge. And even though that was a foul right there, as Gibbs drove to the basket, so many guys converting is. Well, well, it's like Cardwell might grabbing his midsection there. Maybe his hip. Yeah, he's got to come out. Kessler was out after hitting a little nick on the shoulder. Maybe a pointer, huh? The contact. Your pointer. Ooh, boy. Yeah. And it'll pain you. Bench gets around Kessler and gets the basket to drop plus a foul. We got another Tiger down. It looked like Kessler might have elbowed his own teammate Williams as Williams down on the ground. Kessler's in one corner, and we're told he's bleeding as well. Yeah, left elbow, or excuse me, right elbow. And Williams in pain as well. Kessler might need stitches there. They both might need it. Certainly. A... Don't think you're going to want to see this one right here. Ooh. No yes. ball, uh, accidentally friendly fire on his teammate there, right to the mouth. So he's got to get that attended to. Meanwhile, Williams, all the flailing around the room when you're reaching for the ball or block a shot, it can so easily happen. Just looking to help his teammate first, then he realized he had some problems. Williams has given them good minutes today. A confident kid. Well, he will shot the ball well here today. Yeah, always ready to go. A couple of threes. They both are going to go back behind the bench. And, and you know, Jim, my biggest concern for Kessler is that shoulder, though. You know, a recurring. And you cover so much football, it happens quite a bit. And his ability to block shots. And you asked Bruce Pearl yesterday during the shoot around, is he going to wear the sleeve? I don't see it on him here in the shoot around. He says, you know, Walker says, this is the NCAA tournament, man. I'm going without it. So uh, we might see it, uh, see it again win, after uh, all. Yeah. The consummate salesman. If I owned a company and I had to sell a product, <laughs> I'm fired, Bruce. You're but you can have your own expense account. I'll never question it. Got <laughs> the dome at BC, and we talk about the, actually the mascot. What appearance? Yeah. He was so bad they didn't let him put All it right. back on. But he was the <laughs> eagle momentarily. Because he idolizes and respects Tom Davis, his mentor. How about the job he's done here at Auburn? Oh, I mean, the things are going so well. I mean, what they do with this program now, the capacity crowds didn't lose at home this year. They attained the number one ranking for the first time in school history they in, also, in basketball. They also finally have some talent, you know, Charles Barkley, you know, right. Passing fancy. <laughs> I was looking up his numbers. You know, he, he averaged blocking shots 1.7. Oh, come on, Chuck. That's unbelievable. He never elevated. His point totals were 12, 14, 15, and 14. And he went lottery? Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Billy Cunningham has had some influence. Let's put a friendship because uh, the career he's had, MVP, the NBA, yeah. and maybe on the dream team, I'm told the best player that year. He came off the bench in 1992, but was the leading scorer right. on that dream team team. He didn't play any golf there. He didn't want to embarrass the game. <laughs> Actually, his swing has improved. I oh, give him that. He has improved. Had a lot to work for him, though. Well, uh, you think he wants to play one on one golf with Tony Romo? What do you think? No. Romo wins that one. <laughs> they, they have played. <laughs> oh. I can't confirm Tony's skill levels at a different different level. I mean, I just started playing. I could beat Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, might have another match here. <laughs> they have to have a little yeah, By the way, get, feature. Get, get, give uh, Charles credit. He still holds the school NCAA tournament record for rebounds in a game. As the three-point shot is off the mark for Cambridge, and the Gamecocks come out with it. 
Rivers. Oh, it's a well. short run for Charles in the tournament. That team lost to Richmond up in Charlotte, but he pulled down 17 rebounds to go with 23 points. Oh, there's no shoe on Cole. Cardwell out there. He's slipping and sliding. Look at that. That's King. And I now mean, they'll stop play for a moment. It was impressive. I mean, he got out there and hard hedged on the defense and got back inside like he was on on ice skates. Yeah, something. that's what it looked like. <laughs> That must have happened or come loose when he got hit earlier. Oh, it was stepped on actually, stepped on, you know. Yeah. You know, I've heard Bill Walton talk about John Wooden <laughs> taught his players how to put their socks on. That was the at first time at the first practice of the year. Yeah. No wonder I didn't win games. <laughs> we didn't have socks or shoes either. <laughs> oh, so unselfish. Green, who leads the team in assists. Smith really begging at the elbow, wide open, never looked at him. Tried the dish right there behind the back. And Smith is talking to Green now. What are you doing? You know? Good for him. That's, there's not enough for that in college, really. The demanding, telling them what to do. I tell you, defensively, they are continuing to bring that effort. Up almost 20 points, still playing with great intensity. Nice shot off the mark for King. A little shove. Bravo with the discard. Well, guys, it's part cooking competition, part who done it. Six cooks. Compete. One cook tries to secretly ruin everyone's dish. Rat in the kitchen. Yes, I said it. Rat in the kitchen. A new competition one. series, March 31st on TBS. A spin out and dish. Hoffman. Nice pass. Hardwell doesn't get it to go. That was pretty. They are running the floor. Transition D ineffective. Adams tried to challenge Smith. He gets the put back. Look gets at the steal. Play. Taps it over to King. This is the three. Look at them pursue. And that is Gibbs hitting the floor and fouled in the act. And that's how they're going to have to play to try to chip into this lead. Blue collar, scrappy. I like a little pressure full court. Force some turnovers. Love that they're not. Giving up, continuing to fight, continuing to compete, even though down big. Two shots for Gibbs. Leads them in scoring with 15 today, give him 16. Let's go over to Trace. Well, Jim Walker, Kessler, and Jalen Williams remain in the locker room right now. For Jalen Williams, he chipped his two front teeth. He is in a lot of pain, I was told. Walker Kessler has an extremely large gash on his elbow, so he is being tended to as well. They didn't mention whether he's going to need stitchers or not, but right now they are undecided if either one of those players will return. It seems likely in a situation like mm. this, guys. Well, that's not good. So. There's the gash. He might need a, a good little orthopedic surgeon. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I think he knows one. <laughs> yeah, well, the family dad, yep, right? Yep. Chris Alex was a physician, too. Yes, not not Miami. He played at Georgia. Yep. Not good for Jalen, though. There is. That's good for Jalen. Hubbard, he's hit maybe four from that spot here in this half. You think they'd run him off? <laughs> right, get him out of there. Nine and a half for Smith, 16 for the game. King trying to get separation. I love this kid, Cockwell. He just does his job. Relentless, excellent rebounder. He's having a big game. But really vicious at the rim if he gets an opportunity. He may not filling up a stat sheet, but his presence is definitely noticed. A little fence for the little giveaway there. That's a little hesitation by Johnson. Throwing that foul. Kane Henry comes back in. And also returning is Maroche Zilly Snack, who had three fouls and limited play in that first half. He's just to keep the big guy off the glass, Carball. He started the game running that little double at him on the wing. Landing a good kick out. Here's Smith trying to create off the front of the rim. 
Like most, and not as really walk, yeah. A Zelly snack. Yeah. With an extra step, we're going to the break under 12. Auburn up 18. Auburn with a one-sided advantage when it comes to blocks, fast break points, and up 18. Gibbs a leading scorer in the game was 17, but this was a, a tightly contested game for the first 17 minutes, and then all of a sudden everything changed. It really did change. I mean, to, to finish the half, one for 12 from the field, Jacksonville State, everything one-on-one, -on -one, and the defense of Auburn, incredible. Smith, pretty impressive. Oh, very much so. You want to see him put it on the deck a little bit more, though, and then they got him in the post up. Here he is. Kessler's back in there, too. Three dribbles and back outside he goes to Flanagan. Pulled the string or maybe a piece. Kessler got blocked from behind by Huffman. A little dose of his own medicine there. Kessler with six blocks in the game. Average five in conference play this year. That's incredible. It is amazing. <laughs> Henry with the head fake, drives in. Huffman right back up with it, his second basket and a half. And I like what Henry did. You attack and go right at a shot blocker. Huffman staying on the glass and a little pressure now by the Gamecocks. Well, they had Tessa right in the middle. Johnson. And it's Jacksonville State on the quick trip. Well, giving, these kids, giving these kids some confidence right now. Haven't hit a three in a long time. They got to go to the basket, though. Grant mentioned earlier, staying behind that three-point low, nice defensive maneuver. And that's a charge yep. on Henry. Good position, Jabari Smith. He can play both ends. You never compare talents, but uh, Grant Hill has a little of this ability in him, except the defensive end of that maneuver. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, I, I had to take charges because I couldn't block shots like Jabari Smith or Kessler, but uh, his versatility he's... on both ends of the floor, rim protection, guard on the perimeter, Jabari Smith, impressive. I mean, you to defend yourself a little bit on that defensive effort you made back. Oh, I, I, I don't listen to Coach. Look, I, 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 I was the Corinthian defensive player of the year one year. That's, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, come on now. And by the way, your team did guard. No question about it. I appreciate Dang it. it. Oh. I appreciate that, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for Yeah, I mean, that's getting. <laughs> A little two-on-one fast break here. For those who appreciate history, there's some good history there. Okay, Flanagan goes to the line to shoot a couple. Auburn had it up to a 24-point lead. It's been an 11-3 stretch for the Gamecocks. But now Flanagan, we talked about it earlier, how he was coming back from an Achilles injury, including surgery. Back in the fall, I mean, it's just amazing how fast he came back. Missed the first 11 games. But he was the leading scorer for the Tigers last year. I think he's the X factor for this team. You know what, Could be. you know interior-wise what they're capable of, but his ability to guard and knock down shots. So important. Their run. Only 21% from three this year. They, they need him in this tournament. There's King. Nice rebound. And Smith gets the outlet quickly. Up ahead, they go to Flanagan again. Slices in for two. Nice job, but how about that rebound out of his area, too? Yep. Good, good. Ten feet. Flanagan now with seven. All coming since the intermission. Here's Henry short with a shot. Flanagan gives it back to Green. Let's him run it. Run the show. He can do it. Pull up. Two more. What a confident guy he is. Electrifying. He got to respect his dribble drive too. And a quick timeout. Getting away from him again. Jacksonville State knows all about Wendell Green. Green hit a half-court shot to beat him when he was at Eastern Kentucky. Doing a little bit of everything here for the Tigers. The USC Trojans arriving at the arena to take on Miami in the second game today. Three gourmet chefs compete to recreate and remix celebrities' favorite late night cravings. Check out Reimagine Fast Food with a side of culinary craziness on Fast Foodies, all new Thursdays at 10 on True TV. There's Gibbs. A nice job reversing the ball using both sides of the floor. With good attention defensively. Gets it back, and they wow. finally hit another three. It had been a long, long time. That's their sixth of the game, four of them by Jalen Gibbs. 
had missed 12 straight before that one. Now that full court pressure opens up some opportunities too if you want to attack if you're Auburn. Johnson, nice pass. Whips it inside. Kessler, soft easy. touch. I'd like to see them do that more often. Get the ball inside to Kessler. So would the Kessler family. <laughs> I mean, he is such a formidable low post player, too. Just they don't go to him often. He got 11 points, seven rebounds, six blocks. He's had a couple triple doubles this year. And with blocks? Yep. Look at Huffman. Basket counts. And Flanagan was right there looking for a walk as well. They have nice help side defense all day long. A coach's son with a good understanding comes in out of the picture here with great help. Eight point seven rebound. Give him nine points now. He's going to check out. Zelly Snack will come in for him. 6'11 junior from Slovakia for the Gamecocks. It opens it up when you gamble. A little push from behind, yep. The Adams. Although they're looking over at Zelly Snack also. It's going to be on Adams. Thought Green and that penetration might throw it up for the lob. Now that's the danger when you start to extend the floor against this team. Uh, they are so confident on the offensive end. One and one coming up for Walker Kessler. Grant, you were talking about guys getting listed as he misses the front end. 6'10 like Jabari Smith, and he's legit. Kessler listed at 7'1. That's legit too. I mean, he looks taller. Yeah. <laughs> he plays taller. I like what Charles Barkley actually said at halftime, his ability to play big. Right. That's I how to use his length. Oh, oh, another one. That's seven Ooh. blocks. Look at this anticipation pitch. Right back, Finch. I like it. These kids, they're, they're admirable. Smith feeling right behind him. Pulls up. Zelly Stack tried to get a hand on it. Smith comes racing in and gets fouled. Put it up with a left hand. Showing you some things now off the bounce. I like that. You talk about using your length. <laughs> That's a, an underarm block. I mean, I, I, I give King credit for challenging him, but you might want to stay on the perimeter. Reconsider. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That weak span. So the behold. Two shots for Smith. Talk to the Auburn people about. What a joy it's been to have him part of this program. Just 18 years old as Jabari Smith as Huffman comes back in. Humble. Uh, he's got everything just ideal. He's got a world of talent. He's a great teammate, too. Well, they are a relaxed group. Uninhibited. Starts with Bruce. You know, he's loose. Relaxed. It shows. You don't want to go play at Auburn anymore. They don't lose at home. They, they sure don't. Yeah, 16 and 0 this year. You were there for the Kentucky game. Yeah, yep. great atmosphere. Down low, Huffman having his big half. Up. Got that one blocked. But now they say it was a foul. Jabari Smith may have yeah. tagged him on the arm there. His second. It's been a comfortable double digit margin the whole half. Jacksonville State gave him a good shot early. But then the Tigers' talent took over. Of course, Ohio State was bounced last year in the first round by Oral Roberts. Right. So they've been living with that for 52 weeks and come out with a strong performance today. Uh, Chris, Chris Holtman last year, he was so down. Bounced back. Some nice talent. Adele, obviously, random. He gets guard to play. They're, they're a pretty darn good team. That's the first miss from the line for the Gamecocks today. 10 out of 11. One more for Huffman. That was Smith's 10th rebound, so he's got a double double, 17 and 10. Well, I think Adams loves the challenge. He's got Smith. He's not backing off either. Look at the back screen and post up. There you go. 
This is where they love to get him, but they're taking that away. Good defense. Johnson. Long rebound to Finch. A king break early, but it wasn't there, so he wisely held on to it. Now drives in and gets tripped by Flanagan. The best of the NBA go head to head in pursuit of winning a championship. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel begin April 17th on TNT. So Finch, junior from Raleigh at the line. The rest of the starters for Jacksonville State, they all they all made the decision to come back one more year to try to get to this very day, to be able to be on the stage. Talking about Adams and Henry and Huffman and Gibbs. Yeah, you hear about these kids that that's, that's what they play for. The chance to get that chance to be in the field, to go dancing. And that shiny moment, right? Shiny shiny moment. Moment. In state, too. They came out ready to play, but I don't know if they realize how tough this team is, Auburn. So many things they can do well. They attack pressure as they've been doing lately. Size around the rim to defend. You said the best. Jacksonville State out of the gate really came out aggressive, confident. They were hitting those some tough shots, and those tough shots they weren't able to sustain that, particularly late in that first half. And I tell you, blink your eye and Auburn, that's you know they're up 20. The interesting thing, you've been at a lot of it and played in them championships. And all. Guard play is so important, and I think Auburn when they play well. You know, get everybody involved, do the right things, good extension. Well, this is a pretty tough team to defeat. One of two. Flanagan gets it back. Well, we took the shooter. Another chance off the mark for the Tigers. Gibbs wants to challenge the All-American. Goes to the corner. Well, they are running them off that line, though, aren't they? King back out. Bench. Interesting shot and it drops. Well, and they pursued that trip. You got the ball moving, got him in rotation in scramble mode, and drilled it. Down to 12. It had been 24 at one point in this half. I don't know if there's going to be as late in the shot clock. Or as comfortable, I should say. They. Bail him out late with seven on the clock. Now called on Huffman. Don't you talk about offense right here. This, this is no offense. This is just principles. Drive and kick. Make the extra pass. Be unselfish. They got to play with pace in the half court offense like they did on that play. But they also have to get stops and play defense without fouling, which they've done a good job of this season. Not fouling on the defensive end, but you know they haven't played a team like Auburn. goes for Zepp Jasper senior from Augusta Georgia who started his college career a lot of Georgia guys yep on Auburn mm -hmm. college of Charleston transfer he's got them both and there's the foul trouble for the Gamecocks two players with four Finch Right here handling the ball. That's one player they can't afford to go without. And Bruce recognizes stepping up the defense a little bit more, taking the challenge, not letting his guys relax. Nice show. This has got good footwork recovery, too. Here's Gibbs. Long range three. And that's Kessler pulling it down. High, right back to Jasper. Trying to back screen Kessler to the box. Look at these kids hustle. Yeah, it's Jacksonville State with it. Nothing there. Slap back three. Adams will take it. The good challenge. Kessler right there, making it tough. Reach in on Gibbs. And that was a tough shot right there for Adams. I'd rather see you drive him. You got a big guy, take him to the hole, but a step back with Kessler. At least it'll force you to get some arc on your shot. <laughs> now Flanagan goes to the line again. Oh, 
Flanagan's father. And you know him for a long time, Rap. Nice. Yep. Dad Wes was the head coach at uh, Little Rock and was a three year captain at Auburn. Now on the bench for Coach Pearl as an assistant. Number two all time in Auburn assists. Ira Bowman over there on the staff. Should we take a look at the group? Stephen Pearl, a Tennessee grad, played for his dad there alongside him on the bench. Shooter's going to come out after hitting two, so to the bench goes Flanagan, and back into the lineup is Devin Cambridge. Back up to 16 with five and a half remaining. Look right now, you have Jabari Smith guarding Gibbs. Uh, they got a foul right on the foul line here. Called on Cambridge. Cambridge yeah. You can watch CBS Sports HQ for the best coverage of the big dance. Tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, all for free. 24-7 sports news network of CBS Sports HQ. Download, download the CBS Sports app. Watch it today. Be interesting to see if he makes these if they set up full court pressure. They've had problems in defending because the attack mode of Auburn. Kane Henry comes back in for Jacksonville State. And Adams was the one guy that they probably had to pay the most attention to from a defensive perspective for Auburn. Well, three out of 13 from the field. Eight points, average is 16. Look at this kid. I mean, he can do everything, really. Am I a Gonzaga player, maybe? A little bit? You know, with the handle? A little Timmy? No, uh, Chet. Oh, oh, Chet. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is when you're in trouble. Turn your heads. Johnson. Wrap around pass. That's where able to. Get to it eventually, and a shot clock violation. A nice Huff pass, though. Great pass, but give Huffman some credit right there. Returning the favor to Kessler with a shot block right there inside, and, and with the hands. This was not an easy pass no. to catch in traffic. And the guy put his hand in on him too. He had it. Bench comes right back after a brief break. He gives him speed. Looking to go small right here, right now for the Gamecocks. Break him down on the bounce, too, and hit one of his buddies on the perimeter. King's been quiet, too. It has been. Yeah. Gibbs, nifty dribbling here. Oh. Underneath. Twice now. Change Another the, block. Change the shot, then. Regroups and blocks it. His eighth here at Smith. Johnson. Johnson and Bruce Pearl. <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> he was intimidating his player. He thought he was going to jack it up. Green cradled it for a moment. Cambridge put back no. Still fighting for it. Five minutes without a field goal. For the Tigers. What happens when you have a small lineup? You can't rebound. Great point. This is where I love him. Double team right away. They've been consistent yeah. tonight. Green. Today, excuse me. On the blocks. Finally get a field goal. I think Green big boyed him down there. As they say, he's looking at this lineup and saying, Post me up, coach. Kessler again influencing that shot. He's two blocks away from a triple double. Thought he might get another one right there. Doesn't foul either. He's seven, obviously. He stays upright. Talking about what Charles' comment was. Vertical. Three minutes to go. He wants to shoot that three. They're letting him do it, and why not? He can do it too. Gotta repay him once in a while. Keep the big guy happy. Who's Pearl? Boy, he is fascinating guy to be around. Thumbs up, he says to his crew. When I move my body just like this, I don't know why, but I feel like it. 
And these two schools from the state of Alabama, about 150 miles apart. Both on the eastern side of the state. Playing for the 14th time ever. And just uh, three minutes to go. All the previous matchups have been at Auburn. Tigers won them all. Now we saw USC arriving. Here's their opponent in game two, the Miami Hurricanes of head coach Jim Laranega. Talk about small ball. Yeah, yeah fun four, to watch. Yeah, four <laughs> guards and a forward. <laughs> I feel like I know Charlie Moore better than anybody. I've done so many games at different places for him, right? <laughs> Kansas to Paul. I think I did the Cal game, too, years ago. He's done a heck of a job running that show. King with one more. By the way, they've given Kessler during the break another block. I guess they felt they got a piece of that last uh, layup attempt by the Gamecocks. So he's now one block away from a triple-double. Here's Green lobbing it up high to Kessler. Uh, pretty play. Anytime you step up that little dunk spot, the short corner. Adams. Trying to somehow get free for Johnson. Won't allow him to do it. Henry, and out with it is Cambridge. Another shot there altered by the length of Kessler. Unbelievable. Uh-oh, the stop sign goes up. you got to have a floater, and the guy that he's playing has to get available. That's something that they've not been able to do. And he steps up to block a shot, find the hole. There's that flex cut. It's a charge on Smith. Good job there by Kane Henry sliding his feet. Taking a charge on Jabari Smith, one of the few offensive mistakes that Jabari Smith has made here today. I, I said it earlier, I mean, arguably the best front court in America, this Auburn team with it, those two. It's hard to top. And the way they complement each other, you know, they, they play yeah. so well, coexist together. It's fun to watch. Very complimentary, no question about it. And when the guards are understated, get people involved, this is a tough out. It's the key. Gibbs steps up, goes back out with it. Adams. Jumper short. It's been short a few times in this half. Fatigue. Oh, boy. Oh, oh Cambridge. Woohoo! Goodness, send it in. That was a Grand Hill lob. <laughs> Top of the glass. Ooh. King from the corner. Doesn't drop. Okay, when people start settling for threes, it's all the Kessler influence. Smith, three. Right back out to him. Driving oh. in and oh. 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 Goodness. I think you should handle this one. This is wow. uh, this is your I, I, I don't know if I can right there. I mean, off the bounce, chest to chest. Oh my. Send it in, big fella. Ooh. With alacrity. <laughs> Leave those chandeliers. <laughs> Look at his teammates. <laughs> Blowing some minds here. What a great oh, shot. Oh. Wendell's in disbelief. Oh, Bob Fishman on top of it, our director. <laughs> they don't believe it. They've seen it every day, probably. I think they, see, think they see that quite a bit. Yeah. It's like business as usual. It's probably best to not be on the receiving end of that in practice. 14 rebounds, by the way, for Smith, a career high. Oh, man. What do you think? Poster yeah. time. Woo. I gave it a 50. He's like, yeah, I know it. That was nice. <laughs> that was one of my better ones. <laughs> and they check out the starters in the final minute. So Kessler will end up one block short of the triple double. Oh, and nice shot drops. Aji Henderson gets yeah. a couple of minutes in there. Freshman from Chicago. 
still in disbelief from that dunk. Yeah, it, it, it silenced the crowd. Almost goes. Stay at this end with 29 seconds. Well, Auburn plays this kind of defense. Of course, got that big fellow looming large in the back. Eh? Very tough to get shots at the rim. What you said, too, with the guard play. Nine yeah. three pointers made. Guards playing under control. This team is dangerous. And Green will be content with just dribbling it out. Until about the nine second mark. Here's a three. Put back, no. Uh, put was on the line, but they let it go. Bird. The game has come to an end with an Auburn victory. That 11-0 run to close the first half changed everything about this one. Led by 12 in the intermission, kept the margin of double digits for the entire second half. We'll be back to Greenville. Advance the Tigers in your brackets. Auburn advancing to the second round with an 80-61 win over Jacksonville State. And will take on the winner Sunday here in Greenville between USC and Miami, which will be next on the floor here. And yeah, this was a good win. They needed this. They were five and four in their last nine games. Needed a signature game here to start off this tournament. Find their mojo again. And got it done here in this first round. Let's go over to Tracy. First off, I need to get your reaction to the Jabari dunk at the end there. I mean, enough said. <laughs> Speechless. Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, he's such an athlete. I, yeah, I mean, here's I my reaction. I wish I could do that. Here's, you can do that. Here's my reaction. <laughs> you can't say anything. How about this guy right here? Almost a triple double for the third time this season. But how were you able to have such success out on this court today? Uh, it's because of my teammates and my coach. You know, um, they pump so much belief into me. And I, I couldn't be here without them. Let me ask you, Coach, the defensive intensity. How proud were you of them today? You know, Tracy, we talked about defensive rebounding being able to win championships. It's, again, the reason why we won the SEC. You can control your destiny if you'll guard like that and fly around. And, of course, you got Walker back there cleaning up all of our mess. I thought our guides really did play with great effort and energy. Um, and, 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 the, and, and that's why we won. Congratulations. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Nice birthday gift for Coach Pearl, who turned 62 today. They're on to the round of 32 with the victory over the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State. Tournament games continue live now on CBS, TNT, and TBS. Miami and USC coming up on True. We'll send you to our studio for Capital One Tournament Central. After these messages, Auburn on the Sunday in the second round.